The Ping River, the largest river in Chiang Mai, has a dynamic but largely forgotten history. Preliminary evidence shows that the Ping has changed its direction multiple times in the past. This phenomenon, known as an avulsion, can be catastrophic if it occurs at a populated area. My aim is to reconstruct the avulsion history of the Ping. There are two stages. First, to search the former Ping rivers that have been abandoned, and second, to find out how old they are. In other words, to locate and date lost rivers. River sediment is generally coarser than surrounding floodplain sediment. Therefore, when a river is abandoned, it leaves behind a channel of coarse sand that is surrounded and eventually buried by finer sediment. One way to find these pockets of sand was to measure the electrical resistivity of the ground underneath. Sands have higher resistivities than finer sediment. Once sand was found, these areas were excavated to confirm their presence. To find out how old these abandoned channels are, sand was collected for optically stimulated luminescence dating. This is how OSL dating works. Certain minerals have the property of emitting light, or luminescence, but it must first be stimulated such as through intense heat or by a laser beam. The brightness of the luminescence depends on how much nuclear radiation the mineral has been exposed to. Here's a closer look. This is the crystal structure of a quartz mineral. Radiation displaces electrons in the crystal lattice, which are then stored in defects. In OSL dating, a laser beam converts these accumulating electrons into photons of light. The more radiation exposure, the more displaced electrons, the more luminescence. Exposure to sunlight returns all displaced electrons and zeroes any luminescence. In a flowing river, sediment is carried down by water, including this quartz grain. Its luminescence signal is zero because it is exposed to sunlight. After an evolution, the river is abandoned and the quartz grain is buried, together with naturally occurring radioactive elements. Its luminescent signal grows with time until it is extracted for dating, while ensuring the sample is not exposed to any light. In a dark lab, grains such as these are stimulated with lasers and the luminescence is measured. The amount of luminescence and knowing how much radiation it was buried with tells us how long it has been buried and when the river was abandoned. This is Ryang Kum Kam, an ancient city from the 15th century that was buried by floods when the Ping River switched from the east side of the city to the west. If an avulsion happens again, this former lost city is a cautionary tale of the severity. It is important to find out as much as we can about the avulsions to assess the risk. To inform the present and future, we must look into the past.